Okay, continuation ng ating topic sa refrigeration, no? So, other formulas for refrigeration system. So, for QR, last time, diniscuss natin si QR, which is heat, heat, ejected, no? And, alaman natin yung formula niya in terms of enthalpy. So, yung system natin to be considered, no, in computing heat rejected is the condenser. So, supposedly, no, ito yung ating diagram, pinutol ko na. So, this is point 2, yung papasok yung refrigerant sa ating, sa ating, ano, condenser. Kadalasan, no, superheated vapor yan, ideally. And then, point 3, paglabas niya, saturated liquid. So, this is an isobaric equipment operating at P is equal to C. And then, palabas, no, yung ating QR. So, last time nga, as I mentioned a while ago, yung QR natin is equal to what? Mass ng, ng refrigerant times H2 minus H3. So, this is for refrigerant, refrigerant side, okay? Okay. But take note, no? pwede rin natin makuha yung QR no? in terms of yung tinatawag natin coolant, coolant side. O bakit? Kasi nga, kadalasan yung condenser is connected no? sa ating mga cooling towers or cooling system. So let's say at point A, papasok yung ating uh, coolant no? with temperature A. And then, at point B, no, lalabas naman yung ating uh, coolant na dumaan na sa condenser. So, we can say that, again, we have QR, or energy in, energy out. Assuming delta KE and delta PE, or potential energy, is equal to zero. So, we have, um, we have energy at point A equals energy of point B plus QR. Okay. So, QR is equal to energy A minus energy B. So, in terms of enthalpy, so this is what? QR is equal to mass ng ating coolant times HA minus mass ng coolant times Hb. But, take no enthalpy is approximately equal to CPT. So, we can say that QR, yeah, lagyan ko ng not sa taas, so indicate that it is a flow rate. So, we have heat rejected is equal to what? Mc, so CPC, CP ng coolant, times what? Ta minus Tb. Or simply, we can say that Heat rejected is equal to mass ng coolant, CP ng coolant, times delta T. So, take note, no? Uh, recall natin yung delta T in degree Celsius is equal to delta T na in Kelvin. Delta T in degrees Fahrenheit is equal to delta T in degree Rankine. Now, in some board exam questions, no, hindi binibigay or kadalasan hinahanap yung volume ng kulat na dadaan doon sa condenser. So, saan natin kukunin yun? Dito, no? From, of course, density. No? So, we have density is equal to what? Mass over volume. Kasi kadalasan, no, tinatanong sa board, ano yung volume in GPM? So, volume flow rate. So, modif... Uh, Using algebraic manipulation, we can say that mass flow rate ng coolant is simply equal to density ng coolant times volume flow rate ng coolant. So, therefore, we can express heat rejected is equal to what? Density, tama, ng coolant times volume flow rate or volume ng coolant times CP, specific heat ng coolant times delta T or delta T in absolute form. So, ito yung ating heat, heat rejected. Now, 
in terms naman, so other formula for compressor, so uh, our work of compression, so again, ang system natin in this case naman is yung compressor. Okay? So, last time, no, we all know that work ng compressor is equal to mass ng refrigerant times H1 minus or H2 so H2 no minus minus H1 so yan yung ating uh, formula for our diagram from the previous videos now another formula we all know no from fluid machineries so pwede rin natin kunin yung work ng compressor o paano so we can use this formula. Uh, we all know that, again, H is approximately equal to CPT. No? So, we have work na compressor is equal to mass ng refrigerant tama? times CP times T2 minus T1 or we can say that this is simply MCT delta T. So, yung work ng compressor. So, which is also equal then no, sa MCT delta T. Tama? So, kung in terms of SI, delta T ng degree Celsius, delta T equals sa delta T ng Kelvin. Delta T in terms of degree Fahrenheit equals sa delta T in degree Rankine. So, Pwede ko expand yun. So, we have a work ng compressor that is M C P times what? T2 minus T1. Okay? But from uh, thermodynamics, we all know that specific heat at constant pressure is equal to what? Equal to K R over K minus 1. Ano yung K? Yung K po ay yung specific heat ratio, Cp over Cb. So, we have work ng compressor is equal to what? M Kr over K minus 1 times T2 minus T1. Okay? So, factoring T sub 1 out, we have Wc is equal to M. Kr T sub 1 over K minus 1 times T2 over T1 minus 1, no? At since yung ating compressor, kung maalala nyo, yan, redraw lang natin ng konti. Oops, ayusin natin. We have quick red Okay. So, we have yan, kunwari, yung ating compressor. So, this is point point 2, no? And this is point 1. So, ito yung ating work ng compressor. Yan. And this is operating under S is equal to C. So, isentropic process. So, at S is equal to C, we can say that PB raised to K is equal to C. Tama? So, kung papaltan natin yung T2 over T1, so that is simply equal to what? T2 over P1 P1 raised to K Minus 1 over K. So, faltang ko tong P in terms of P, no? So, we will be having, what? M, what? M, K, R, T, what? Over K minus 1 times, times what? Times, times uh, P2 no? over P1 raised to 
k minus 1 over k minus 1. Pwede rin, no? Kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong MRT. Ano ba yan? We all know that MRT is equal to PV, especially for ideal for ideal gases, no? So, pwede rin, no? Bukod dito, we can express work ng compressor, which is equal to what? K times P1, B1, P1, B1, all over K minus 1 times what? P2 over P1 raised to K minus 1 over K minus 1. Okay? So, yan yun. Yan yung mga pwedeng formulas for, for another formula for work na compressor. Now, let's go naman dun sa kinatawag natin COP or coefficient coefficient of performance okay. per four months Ayan, no? so we have C hindi na naman ito pamilyar kasi na-discuss natin kung ano ang COP so, doong ang topic natin ay reverse Carnot cycle. So, in this case, no, COP can be computed by getting the ratio of QA to, to what? To work ng compressor. Yan, no? O, pwede rin siyang equal saan? QA over what? QR minus QA. Ayan po. No? Okay. So, in terms of enthalpy, ano ba ang QA? So, we have mass of refrigerant times H1 minus H4 divided by QR. Mass ng refrigerant times H2 minus H3 minus QA. Okay? ba ako lang to. So, we have mass na refrigerant times H1 minus H4. So, makakancel out na si MR. Tama? So, simplifying the equation, we will be having um, COP equals what? H1 minus H4 all over H2 minus H3 minus H1 plus H4. Dama. But take note, anong sabi natin? H3 is equal to H4. Di ba? Yun yung process ng crackling. So, mag-cancel out ito so, ano lang matitira? So, we have COP in terms of enthalpy that is equal to H1 minus H4 divided by H2 minus H1. So, yan po ang ating formula sa COP ng vapor compression cycle. Okay. Uh, next, uh, Next video is for the remaining formulas about standard vapor compression cycle. Then afterwards, we will be solving uh, example no? and problems involving the topic. So please, uh, pakiaral mabuti. Uh, pakilike na rin video, subscribe, and positively share. Thank you so much.